I was just reading through my comments and one of my followers just asked me a very important question to life. He said, Nino, how do you create financial freedom? How do you get rich? Is this a certain kind of talent or certain kind of special power you got to get this money? Is it certain kind of way you just wake up and you rich? And I tell him, no. The key to getting rich and the key to creating financial peace and financial freedom is spending less than what you earn. See, the average person goal is to look rich and not get rich. See, they want to spend money. They want to look successful and not actually become successful. And see, the key to life is you got to save majority of what you earn. You got to save money. You got to save this money. You got to put this money up. If you get $10, you got to save seven of those dollars. And three of those dollars got to go to food, gas, and miscellaneous bullshit that you know you don't need. But them $7 got to be seven hard dollars that you don't spend. If you can't manage $10, how you going to manage $100,000? How you gonna manage a million dollars? You gotta put this money up. You gotta stack this money up. If you getting this shoebox money or this mailbox money, it got to be put away. You can't touch that. Because I'm gonna tell you something. A lot of people just trying to keep up with what's going on on the world or what's going on on Facebook or what they seen this one did or this rapper did. But you gotta understand, these rappers got millions. These people who you look up to got millions and they got financial freedom. They could do whatever they want because they did what they had to do. And right now you got to do what you got to do so you could do what you want to do one day. Let me tell you something else. See, whatever job you working, whether it's McDonald's, whether it's Walmart, Kmart, Payless, whether it's, yeah, you might be on the fries, you might be working at Wingstop, you might be the highest position at your corporate office, whatever it is. But you just want to exceed your ability. You want to exceed your talent. What you got to do right now is stack up six months of overhead. Whatever your bills is a month, you need to create six months of peace. So right now, when you trying to grind and, and, and get to that next level in your life, you ain't got your bills over your head. That's out your way. And the key to that is to stack up six months of overhead. Because the first three months, you might try to spend figuring it out. How you going to get where you trying to go. And you can't have bills kicking your ass and the world kicking your ass and your girl and your nigga on your head. You got to create that peace right there. And that'll make you sleep better at night knowing that six months out your gear, your bills taken care of. That's the first rule of getting rich, creating overhead space. And then you got to spend less than what you earn. See, a lot of us spend more than what we earn. And I'm going to ask you this. It's just like losing weight. How you going to eat more than you work out? You can't out eat. You can't outwork a bad diet. You can't outwork a bad spending habit. Drugs. Hoes and gambling are the easiest way to go broke, and that's every rich man downfall. Drugs, women, and gambling. If you can overlook and get satisfied and stop trying to, you understand me, be with every bitch you see, or stop trying to gamble in the casino or gamble in the crap shoot, or, or shit, you want to get high all day and smoke weed all day and, and snort coke or whatever you do, whatever your vice is, you got to overlook that because the goal is to get rich, not to look rich. And I'm going to tell you something else. Another way to create financial peace and get where you're trying to go is... Your attitude. See, your attitude determine your altitude. You only gonna get higher, higher if you you act a certain way. You gotta put yourself in a position to be around certain people, and you can't act how you act when you was broke, because the people who got this money you trying to get to, they don't act like that. They don't wear their pants hanging down off their ass. Yeah, they ain't walking around smelling like weed all day unless they can. They ain't walking around, yeah, with the homeboys all day. See, most rich people don't got friends. You got to understand. You got to condition yourself to, to get around this money. See, the higher you go, you only going to spot a few people that got a, got a cabinet of people around them because the average rich person is too busy to have friends. 
Fuck friends. A lot of people can't come on your journey. A lot of people ain't destined for your success. A lot of people at your table ain't able to go where you trying to go. They just there to get you where you, they just there to set you apart. They just there for a time being. And then they got to get rid of, but you want to hold on to them. So I'm going to tell you something. Keep this in mind. Your attitude determines your altitude. If you're a woman with a bad attitude and you look beautiful, huh, you just a waste of motherfucking time because you ain't going nowhere. You just look good. It's just like a pretty car with a bad motor. You ain't going far. You got to have the right attitude in this game because nobody will want to work with you. Nobody will want to deal with you. If you a dude who could seem real good, but you ain't, you got a bad attitude, you don't want to work, you don't want to do what it, 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 the proper precautions and the proper measures and steps to get where you're trying to go, you ain't gonna go, you ain't going nowhere. Because your attitude is fucked up. You gotta first fix you before you can fix your situation. You gotta better yourself, and that's what's wrong with my people. My people shall perish from the lack of knowledge. We got to have the knowledge on this shit. A lot of people don't even, a lot of these dudes that's selling drugs and, 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 and toting these pistols, they don't know how to get money. So all they know is to pick up a dope sack or pick up a gun and rob. But they don't know if they condition their mind ain't no different from Bill Gates than you. He wake up and put on his pants just like you. I don't care who he is or how rich he is. He have no special powers. He just did what you ain't doing. And right now I'm telling you what to do. You got to condition your mind to get rich. And stop trying to look rich. Stop trying to change your views on life. If your view is a Bentley and you ride around in a Toyota. Or if your view is a big house and you live in an apartment. You got the wrong view on life. You need to create financial peace and financial ability because you sleep better knowing you're going to wake up paid. Get your money together first. Then attack all the, the, the first attack your goals. Then get what you want out of life. Because I'm going to tell you something. I have never met a man or a woman that outlive materialistic things. That Benz or that Bentley or that big house going to still be here when you die. You going to die. But somebody else going to be living in it or driving in it. That woman still going to be here you fantasizing over. <laughs> you better get your motherfucking money right, dog. Create financial ability. Create financial space. Like my man just told me, a lot of people dream is to work for somebody. They feel like they made it. Oh, man, I just got the job. But you don't know. You wake up from 6.30. You clock in at 7.30. You know, took the kids to school. Now you clock in from 7.30, and then you go to work. You get off at 6.30 at night. What time you work on yourself to own your own shit? What time you worked on yourself to own the company you working for? Nothing. They condition your mind to be a worker. You got to stop fantasizing of working for somebody and learn how to work for yourself and build your brand. Stop working on they shit and start working on your shit. That's the key to financial freedom. I'm telling you all this because my people don't know this. My people think, oh, man, he's so rich. And that's why we got so many haters because people see uh, 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 all these nice things people possess but don't realize they got the potential to get the same thing if they just condition their mind and stop thinking like a worker and start thinking like a millionaire. But first, we got to learn how to save this money. But first, we got to learn what to do with this money and stop blowing it on gambling, women, and drugs. That's the three things that take a rich man down. Gambling, women, and drugs. If you can overlook all these things, you can be successful. Because, see, you got to remember, in the Bible, or any Bible you read, it's going to tell you the eyes of a man is never satisfied. You could give a man the world, he's going to tell you you didn't bring it fast enough. You can't give a man nothing, he going he gonna to want more. So you got to get satisfied with what you have so God can bring more things into your life and dump some more blessings in there. Let me tell you something. You want to get rich, this the key to getting rich. This the key to financial ability. This the key to financial success. First learning what to do and how to manage what you got. If you can't manage small shit, what you going to do with the big shit? If you dropping the ball on the small shit and these small deals, what you going to do when you get <laughs> to whom much is given, much is required? <laughs> 
You you see that with LeBron. LeBron get 10 points. They talk bad about him when the average player on the bench ain't even got 10. Because to whom much is given, much is required. So all these things you asking for from God and you praying on the blessing, first you got to take care of the blessings you already have so he can see that and he going to bring more in your life. So let's talk about the keys here. Your attitude determines your altitude. Save majority of what you earn. Create six months of overhead space where you can start working on your dream. And obviously, dodge the three things that take a rich man down. Women, drugs, and gambling. And you should be all right. You should be on your way to your dream. You should be successful. You should see a change in your life if you apply all these things. But see, a lot of people want the quick fix. A lot of people want a quick, easy route to success. It's no cheat sheet to success. You got to understand everything come with time. Work on these things right here and comment below and go to WeTheBusiness.com and get you a shirt right now. We the business.